For more than 1400 years, St Paul's Cathedral has stood at the highest point of the City of London. The cathedral was founded around 1087 AD by Bishop Morris, chaplain to William the Conqueror. It would become the longest standing home for Christian worship on the site to date, surviving for almost 600 years. The first part of the new building was completed in 1148, enabling the cathedral to start functioning as quickly as possible. St Paul's began life as a Catholic cathedral. It was the largest building in medieval England, longer, taller and wider than the present building, as well as being richly decorated. In the wake of the Reformation, the cathedral's focus changed. St Paul's became the centre of the thriving new Protestant culture in England. However, disaster soon struck. In the June of 1561, lightning struck the cathedral spire, igniting a fire which destroyed both the steeple and the roofs. The heat and falling timbers caused such damage to the cathedral's structure that it would never fully recover. Plans were made for restoration, but the work was left incomplete at the outbreak of the English Civil War in 1642. By the 1650s, the building was in a serious state of disrepair, and it was only after the restoration of King Charles II in 1660 that repairs were once again considered. Leading architects wrestled with how to restore the medieval structure, and were often in disagreement. Inspired by his travels in France and his knowledge of Italian architecture, Christopher Wren proposed the addition of a dome to the building, a plan agreed upon in August 1666. Only a week later, however, the Great Fire of London destroyed much of the remaining structure. Sir Christopher Wren was a brilliant scientist and mathematician, and at the time he was Britain's most famous architect. The building he designed to replace the old cathedral is his masterpiece. Nine years of planning were required to ensure that the new design would meet the requirements of a working cathedral. The interior had to be fitted for the grandest of occasions and ceremonies. Construction commenced in 1675, and the process involved many highly skilled draftsmen and craftsmen. It was pursued in numerous phases largely depending on the availability of funding and materials. Portland stone was heavily used, but many other types of stone were necessary, as well as bricks, iron and wood. Remarkably, all the building accounts, contracts and records of the rebuilding commission survive, alongside many original drawings. Christopher Wren lived to see the building completed, and the last stone of the cathedral structure was laid on the 26th of October 1708 by two sons named after their fathers, Christopher Wren Jr and Edward Strong, who was the son of the Master Mason. The building which Wren delivered in 35 years fulfilled all the requirements and provided a symbol for the then Reformed Church of England, the renewed capital city and the emerging empire. The cathedral has served the United Kingdom ever since. It continues to welcome world leaders, thinkers, theologians, politicians and the general public in pursuit of a better society. <laughs>